Okay, so here's the problem that I've solved over the last six months with what I'm calling the progress equals happiness equation. Like you, I spend most of my time working. I try, but often struggle to stay on top of healthy living, listen to podcasts and audiobooks, watch a bunch of YouTube videos, and read in order to learn new things and generally improve my life. And over the last few years, particularly since I read James Clear's Atomic Habits, I've been really centrally focused on building and maintaining good habits. Now clearly, James, clearly, um, <laughs> Beth's gonna roll her eyes when she watches that, the idea of building good habits is fundamental to building a positive and healthy life. And I also think it is absolutely essential that we don't spend our lives just focused on when do I achieve this goal? Like let's set these tiny little goals all the time. Our entire lives just become like a tick box exercise. of I achieve this goal, I achieve this goal. And I'm only ever happy once I've achieved that goal. And then I set the next one and I'm never really happy because all I'm ever doing is setting more and more goals. That should be avoided at all costs. Obsessing over end results rather than the process is damaging. But I've got to say that following James Clear's atomic habit life for a year or two, I kind of felt the same as what I just described. Without clear goals, number one, I felt like I just had to-do list items each day, which included healthy habits, and I would go to the gym, and I would do my work, and I would eat a healthy meal, and that was all great, but I didn't feel like it was adding to anything. And two, that meant that I lacked fulfillment. There's this Tony Robbins quote, which has inspired this video, which is, progress equals happiness. A simple quote from a very smart guy, <laughs> listen to his voice, he has like the deepest and kind of most satisfying voice to listen to I find, but anyway. It is fundamentally impossible to have progress towards an end destination if all we have are good habits. So if progress equals happiness, I'm gonna say that progress equals habits that consistently move us towards clear goals and therefore happiness also equals habits that consistently move us towards clear goals. And I have previously made videos about how to build good habits and break bad ones, and there are tons of videos about habit building. The key part of this equation that I really want to focus on for the rest of this video is the clear goals part. And I just want to share three small but concrete changes that I have made to the way I think about and go about achieving my goals that I think can make a huge difference to anyone's life. First up, set five to 10 medium term goals from across different aspects of your life. And these are goals that can be achieved realistically within anywhere between six and 24 months. The key point here, I think, is to examine whether your goals are actually moving you towards where you see yourself being in three, four, five years time. We only have a very limited amount of time. We have so many different commitments competing for our time. It is essential that we prioritize and that we really very critically examine. Okay, so I wanna set a goal of, for example, like let's say you have a YouTube channel. I wanna set a goal of getting to a thousand subscribers. You need to really question like, where does that fit into your life? Are you realistically gonna be able to continue with your YouTube channel in the long term? You don't have to commit to it forever, but you have to be able to see that this goal is connected to where you see yourself in a few years time. If it is not, I would encourage you to reconsider that goal. So to give my personal example, the vision I have for myself in the next few years is to first of all, generate financial freedom for myself. That means that I have the choice to decide what I want to do with my time. Right now, I don't have the financial resources to just do whatever I want. So I want to put myself in a position where my decision as to what I spend my time doing is not so much linked to financial gain as it is to the impact I feel I'm having and the fulfillment that I get from it. I see myself being a qualified lawyer, I see myself running a business and then also prioritizing my health. So staying on top of physical and mental well-being. And I also see myself having my loving, amazing family around me. And so each one of my goals will feed into that vision I have for myself. Second, stretch yourself. And you've almost certainly heard people talk about setting SMART goals. Now, I don't love this acronym. I think it's kind of a helpful basis to just make sure your goals are somewhat precise, somewhat relevant to your life and specific and that you're prioritizing, like I just said. But the A is achievable. And I think, yes, you absolutely should make goals that are achievable, like realistically, not completely crazy. 
but I think we should absolutely set goals that it's absolutely possible or even potentially probable that we will not accomplish. Think in two years time, what could you realistically do in a 24 month time frame? Set yourself hugely ambitious goals that push you to want to achieve more. And if you don't then achieve those goals, know that actually even by not hitting them, you've still come way further than you would have done by having no goals at all. In a minute, just kind of for interest, I will run you through the goals that I set myself in a video at the start of this year. And I will tell you how far I am along with them. And you will see that there are some I am almost certainly not going to hit. But that's not the point. They give me a focus and end destination that I can make progress towards. I do my best to make progress to them, but I do not obsess over or fixate on that end destination. Again, goals allow consistent movement towards where you want to get to, but that doesn't mean that you have to beat yourself up if you don't get there as quickly as you hoped. And finally, one of the most powerful habits that I've built recently is to actively reflect on progress. You can do this every day, but I would recommend doing it at least two or three times a week. Have a dedicated time where either on your commute or on your morning walk, your morning exercise, you just spend a little bit of time. It can be five or 10 minutes thinking about the different areas of your life, thinking about the goals within each of those areas and reflecting over the course of the last couple of months it could be one morning just on one specific area of your life, on another morning on another area of your life, on all the progress that you have made. Look back over the last few months or potentially even a year and say, actually, when I look back over that two or three month period, I've done a huge amount. It's so easy to get bogged down in the everyday. And I know this from my job when you're just getting through tasks or on, for example, Menos at the moment, like Beth and I only launched two months ago and we're in the kind of daily grind of trying to make things happen. It's so easy to lose perspective on how much we have achieved together because we all have down days and it's easy when you wake up and you think about all the stuff you have to do to focus on the negatives from the day before. Looking over that slightly longer time period I think allows you to remove those small ups and downs in your journey and instead they just feel like much more positive like it's much more of a positive upward trend when you zoom out. So actually thinking about the progress that you've made or are making at the start of each day puts you in this mindset where fulfillment is really at the front of your mind, where it's like, I'm actually seeing all the things that I'm gonna do over the course of today, the to-do list items I'm gonna tick off. I'm thinking at the start of that day, how those fit into actually progressing towards my goals. And I'm really contextualizing everything that I'm doing to make it much more fulfilling. So before I update you on the progress that I've been making towards my own goals this year, I want to quickly tell you about today's sponsor, CamScanner, the tool that I've been using for years now to turn books and documents into editable PDFs. CamScanner lets you take a photo of any document and it then has some of the smartest auto cropping and best automatic image editing, meaning you get a really crisp scan of whatever you're taking a photo of. What I really love about CamScanner is that it then automatically recognizes text using OCR technology. So what you end up with is an editable PDF of the document from which you can copy and paste text as you need. It also syncs what you scan across your devices, which is amazing for me across my iPhone and my Windows laptop. I used it absolutely tons throughout my time at university because I would go to the library, get a book, get a chapter that I thought would be helpful for my studies. And I would then take photos of it. CamScanner would create this beautiful PDF that I could then cross refer to whenever I needed it. I had tons of key chapters from tons of books all right there on my laptop. So yeah, if you think CamScanner sounds helpful, you can download CamScanner through the link in my description. And now time to reflect on how well or not, my goals have been going this year. So the first goal that I set for myself was to do a great job as a trainee lawyer and to qualify into my seat of choice, i.e. into the department that I wanted. That bit I'm gonna leave to the side for now because I will have another video coming on that. But in terms of doing a great job as a trainee lawyer, I think I have, my appraisals have been very strong. I've really prioritized doing as good a job as I can. And I also made the decision to come to Paris and I'm really proud of myself. Like it would have been really easy for me to say, no, I've got Beth in London. I'm just gonna stay in London. It's easy, I have my friends, but I didn't. I pushed myself professionally and personally and went out of my comfort zone. And that has been amazing. I think my top tip here 
here would be to set a professional goal, at least one, if not more, because I think it's so easy to drift along, particularly in your job where you're given tasks. And I think it's really important that we push ourselves in the direction that we want to choose. Once I am an associate and have a bit more autonomy to choose what I work on, the types of clients I want to try and build relationships with, I'm definitely gonna be setting much more specific goals around my career. So again, I'll keep you updated. Next up, we had YouTube related goals. So first goal was to hit 250,000 subscribers. Mm, I'm analytics. Yeah, I am right now at 153,300 and 80. Yeah. So given I was on <laughs> like around 100K, I can't remember if I'd hit 100K by Christmas. I think I may have done. I'm a way off achieving that. Like I need to pick up the pace. So I am just going to be continuing to try and put out regular videos, try to put out viral videos if I can. And that leads me on to my second goal though, which has gone a bit better. That was to hit a million views with one video. And I have done that, which is absolutely awesome. Super happy that this one, my fulfillment video, Why Your Life Is So Boring, has exploded more or less. And that has been incredible to see. And I've got to say, like, there's no particular reason, I think, why that video did any better than loads of my other videos, in my opinion. I think it just shows, like, the importance of consistency, picking topics that are popular on YouTube and just continuing to be consistent and put out content. So that's what I'm going to be trying to continue to do. And finally, I'd set the goal of putting out regular content on Instagram and TikTok. This has been a huge focus for me over the last six months. I've really been trying to get to a point where I do this. And over the last two weeks, I have finally started putting out reels. I am working on getting more like post content for Instagram as well. So yeah, this is very much a work in progress, but we've made amazing progress, me and my editors. We are getting there with repurposing my content, creating fresh reels, like things that we think will perform really well, as well as educational stuff. So super excited to get on Instagram and TikTok much more and hopefully reconnect with my audience a bit more in that more personal domain where like Instagram is a bit easier to connect with people, talk to people rather than on YouTube where it's much harder for me to interact with people on a one-to-one -one basis. Final professional worky set of goals were to do with Menos. So my first goal was to sell 3,000 backpacks, which <laughs> we are miles away from. We only launched two months ago, which was later than we had anticipated. And we've also just launched at a time where there is massive inflation. People aren't spending so much money. The cost of ads have radically gone up since I made that goals video. There's a ton of headwind, but we have sold around 200 backpacks at this point, two months in, which is an average of around three a day. So Beth and I frankly are super happy with how things are going with Menos. The main thing is, thank you to everyone who has, like the feedback we have got has been incredible. The people who have received the bags seem to be really, really loving them. So that is the main thing. And that probably should have been the goal that I set. But hey, again, it's a goal that I set that's given us a real strong focus. We have pushed as hard as we can to sell as many as we can. And that's probably because I set such an insanely ambitious goal. I also set the goal of releasing a new color of backpack. That does look likely but we're probably not gonna be releasing another new product this year. Again, just deciding to focus on the backpack, double down on that and try to crush it with that as much as we can. Key point, it's possible to change your goals and decide that actually you were wrong in setting that goal. I was definitely wrong in deciding that we should try to release a new product this year. I think waiting till next year makes way more sense. And finally, I set the goal within my sort of personal life of just continuing to enjoy spending quality time with friends and family. Now clearly I have been in Paris, that has made things a little more difficult, but actually I've had people coming to visit me, friends and family, particularly friends, very consistently. And it's been absolutely incredible being able to share being here with those people. And I would say spending time with a lot of friends who have made the effort to come here, who I wouldn't ordinarily spend like an entire weekend with, but actually it's been so cool to get to spend like really good quality time with those people. And I think it has made me really want when I go back to the UK to prioritize like going on weekends away with a couple of friends and really spending very intense and quality time with those people to really be able to have deeper conversations to explore things that, you know, normally when you just meet up for a drink or a coffee, you don't have time or you don't want to go into. So that goal, I think I am absolutely crushing. I'm very happy with that, but just want to kind of continue that when I get back to London to continue these really like quality experiences with other people. 
So yeah, in summary, if you don't have goals that you're focused on right now, or you feel like you're kind of just drifting along a little bit at the moment, feeling a bit unfulfilled, and you really want to refocus things in this like just over halfway point through the year, set five to 10 medium term goals that you think you can realistically achieve in six months to two years, but that are gonna really stretch you and are hugely ambitious. Then try to build as many habits as you can and smaller goals into your daily life to work towards achieving those bigger goals and then regularly spend time in the morning focused on the progress that you are making towards those goals so that you start each day with a feeling of genuine fulfillment. Progress equals happiness. Thank you so much for watching. Please do drop a comment down below if you know have any questions or want to know anything or just generally to say hi. I promise I do read every single one of your comments and they genuinely make my day when you say nice things. Um, and remember you can get Cam Scanner down in the link below as well. And I look forward to speaking again very soon.